Hey, people. Indred here. 3v3 Faction War. This is Catrian Purification Plant and Space Marines versus Eldar. For the Blue Space Marine team, Eagle Red, who's not moving, is a Tech Marine. Starts off in ranged combat, puts out some good damage, can also support with structures and repair. Hopefully they figure things out. Alongside is Fritz as a Force Commander. Very strong offense, fighting in melee combat, can also tank, disrupt and support. And rather off the blue team here, Dr. Eotrogenic is an Apothecary, support hero fighting in melee by default. Begins with a heal and a passive health regeneration aura. Looks like Eagle Red is indeed moving now, hurrah! Red Eldar team, Dingus Khan as a Warp Spider X arcade teleport hero fighting in ranged combat by default, great for capping and harassing some powerful control. Just grab the VP there. Alongside, Vlereza is a Warlock, a melee spellcaster that leaps into combat, some powerful disruption and support. And rounding off the teams, Reprobate is a Farseer support hero fighting in melee with some powerful buffs and control. They're on the east side against that late starting Tech Marine who's now venturing mid to double up against the Warlock. We'll see if the, if the Farseer responds. Looks like they are responding with a flank maybe by the looks of the minimap. There's a Warlock leaping into combat. Taking a bunch of bolts of fire now. Force Commander goes after the Double Guardians but runs into some Banshees which are a threat to this guy early on. Even if he's using some Battle Cry, down goes the Force Commander. Warlock gets away I think. Banshees can now make a run at those attacks. There we go. Wondered why they were backing off there. Maybe because they saw the shotguns on those scouts. Still worth going in, I think. Guardians are shooting down the scouts. Banshees need to run. Banshees will be okay, I think. Oh, scouts wiped. Yeah, the scouts wiped and they had shotguns. Sloppy opening for Fritz. Got some more tactical marines on the way. Banshees in retreat path. Dingus Khan with some here, with double Banshees in fact, with this Harley Quinn's Elite Scheme recolored. Attacks made it out. Other Banshees on the west side. We do have shotgun scouts in for Dr. Eotrogenic. Double attacks here too. This is a Salamander's Elite Scheme. What's going on east side? Contested power is turning blue. Reprobate with double guardians into rangers. Vlerazer with some rangers as well. And we have a sanguine chainsword up for the apothecary. Help him brawl with these double banshees a bit more effectively, maybe. Just through the heal there. There's a shotgun blast. Definitely needs to get purification rights, surely, with double banshees. Maybe even vials would be worth it. I think I think purification rights is is the more solid pick, I think. Because you can't really miss it, can you? As long as you time it for when the Banshees are surrounding something, it's going to hit them. Down goes the Apothecary, though. Can't get any of that war if he's fallen over. Banshee's getting it done. Do bring it up here for the Farseer. In on these tacks. Throws Doom on them. Gets a good special. Did a gen just bash there? I think they just took a gen down, those Double Guardians. Doesn't put guide on herself though. 381 to 500, 2 to 1 cap for the Eldar. Haven't dropped a VP off their county yet. Attack goes down. And then they retreat. A little bit sloppy there, I think, from Eagle Red. Should have been losing a tactical marine in that position. Just retreat off. Maybe thought the scouts could get rid of her quicker. More rangers on the way for reprobate. Fritz has not replaced their scouts yet. Grenade is dodged. And a master crafted bolt gun in for the tech marine. The west side is still red for now. Shuriken suppresses the apothecary. Not taking this back, apparently. Warlock is down there. Double attacks are kind of idle for a bit. Apothecary goes down again. Warp Spider X are getting it done with a heavy gauge death spinner. Kicking off through the mid, is it? Rangers setting up a Banshee push with their Kinetic Pulse. There's Battle Cry though, should help them out quite a lot. Special attacks from the Force Commander also buffs the surrounding Allied Infantry. These yellow buff circles you see on these guys. Every time you perform with one of those specials, the buff increases. 
Are they both aspect of strength? They are both aspect of strength for Dingus Khan. Into double guardian weapon teams as well. Do they have group teleport? Perhaps we'll see it. 326 to 500. 2 to 1 cap for the red team. Still piling pressure on the east side. Is Reprobate grabbing the victory at the uh, power point. Scouts being weird and spitting up. They need to leave, surely, yeah. Double rangers, double guardians, and a fast here. They can't hang around. Group teleport is in. It was not cancelled. Hurrah. Could be really nasty on this side. Teleporting double banshees in behind double tactical marines. Did they get the... Yeah, purification rights is in. That should be helpful. And here comes Armor of Purity, which does synergize quite, work, quite well with the rights. Because it brings down the cooldown of your heals. So you can use it more often. Get more of those explosive heals going. Having to use it on themselves there. And they're taking ranger shots from the other side. Not sure what's going on here. Double tax is trying to face tank the double shurikens. And there's the group teleport. And then they're just going to run at the tax. I mean, they got in. But the double banshees behind them is a problem. One from the front as well. What do the shotgun scouts do? Well, they shotgun some banshees. That's what they do. What else can they do? Couldn't shotgun them all. They made it out, I think. I mean, they did better than I thought they would. Running into the guardian weapon teams, but with the double banshees in behind. No way that was going to turn out well for Dr. Eotrogenic, but they... They only dropped one attack, I think. Oh, two. They dropped two. Meanwhile, turret going up on the east side, thanks to the tech marine. Just covering this approach completely. Although it wasn't finished. It was knocked over by the rangers. And there's doom up on the tech marine. There's a high-powered shot. The turret was not completed. Assault Squad jumping in. Reprobrate does not have Howling Banshees to threaten them, so it's a good it's a good pull by Eagle Red, I think, to get these guys up. And they've got flame attacks. This could make a big difference here. Reprobrate could get a Wraith Lord up, of course. Wraith Lord plus Doom on the Assault Squad is bad news. But before that, they're going to have a rough time. Did they, um... Okay, they just salvage the turret I think didn't want to try and get back there and finish it 191 to 500 the Eldar still haven't dropped a VP off their counter okay these banshees are isolated should be able to deal with them thanks to sanguine chainsword and having purification rights did not need to use a heal there but now they have these double shurikens to deal with again. And they're floating. Maybe they're considering getting them the Salt Squad up. Clear Razor says watch out because of this. Fritz coming in for a flank. Got a teleporter pack. And an Assault Squad with a Sergeant. Falcon now hits the field though. For Clear Razor. And they don't really have anti-vehicle to deal with it. They can get a decap on the VP though. We'll see if maybe Eagle Red can get through to the mid VP. Are they carrying trouble? Banshee's dealt with on the western flank. But the carry, I think, is okay. Is okay. Barely. Now, can Fritz get rid of these Banshees? They can. Ouch, Scouts just wiped by a grenade, though. I was going to say, Assault Squad doing a lot of heavy lifting here. Double tack still in play. Group teleport used to get the shurikens into the field. The Salt Squad had to eventually retreat. The Razor showed up perfect timing to prevent them from actually grabbing the VP. Eastern power turning red again. And they have this wreck point look, the red team. Dreadnought on the way for Dr. Eotrogenic. They've had enough of these double banshees, I think. Dingus does have a whoops by the squad, though. So they could get a Haywire. And one of, one of these guys, or two, both of them, could get Bright Lance, and then the Dreadnought might be in trouble. No, they're getting an Assault Squad instead. 
it may be the assault squad could like draw both the banshees in and then purification rights can do its work and a double tax can focus fire I think Dingus would be well advised to split the banshees because of purification rights of course I'm sure they know that already it's so tempting when you see those assault squad jumping in just to pile all of your melee onto them. Especially when you've got the Banshees. Level 2 Warp Spider Exarch. Level 2 Warlock. No war gear for this guy. Just hanging out in mid. Did not push through onto the VP. They should have. Had ample opportunity to do so. Level 2 Farsia. Kick it off on the west side again. Can the blue team get it? There's the assault squad jump. Force corner teleported into trouble. Keeping some Banshees occupied, another jump in from the other Assault Squad. Double tax are preoccupied, shooting at the Warp Spider Exarch here. Force Commander, I think, makes it out. But then the Falcon came in. Are those guys going to jump again? It's a risky jump, they do. Warp Spider Exarch barely gets away. Got rid of the Shuriken. Still double Banshees in play, but they're both kind of... Injured and may be able to get the Falcon down. Missile launcher in play here. Warlock's on them. Now Banshees are on them. Where's that Purification Rights? Have they used it already? This Angels of Death has a good usage of it, I think. The double Banshees leave. And they can get the Falcon. Falcon comes back. Should not have come back. Okay, the Falcon makes it. Banshee's getting chopped up here. Falcon makes it out. Tax can get onto the cap. Surely can get onto the cap. They're not doing it. But look at this. Eagle Red got through the mid. And grabbed the VP. Now it's a double for the Space Marines. See a council on the field for reprobate though. That's a big deal. That's really bad news for Eagle Red's assault squad. Still have the high powered shot of course to suppress them. Might be worth Eagle Red staying in tier 2 and getting a Dreadnought up on that side. Falcon goes down. Well played, Eagle Red. Got in there with the Melter Bomb to finish it, I guess. Superb. See a Council on the Prowl. Force Commander now has a Power Fist. Thunderhammer much more disruptive, but this thing hits like a truck. Power Fist just slays things. Doom up on the Assault Squad. They have to leave. They're going to wipe, aren't they? Yeah, Doom with a Seer Council. And they're not sure what the... Oh, the Force Bonner still had the um, the Rangers targeted there. That was a big misplay from Fritz. Not sure if they were distracted by this. By the double tax doing something. Not sure what happened there. Assault Squad, maybe they just couldn't jump out. Seer Council on the warpath for Reprobates. Just as it was starting to to go the Space Marine way, Fritz has some heavy losses. And Dingus has a Wraith Lord on the west side now. So bad news for Eotrogenics Warp Spy uh, Assault Squad. So your council dealt with by the double tax there. That was quite impressive from them. They just toughed it out in melee with their sergeants and stuff. Here's Eotrogenic. Oh, double missile launchers now, eh? I was going to say, now that they don't have any vehicles, but they have the Wraith Horde, of course, over here. And the Fire Prism's on the way. Oh, should have got the decap there, I think. The Apothecary carry wanted to get in there for the heal, I suppose. Getting some good shots on the Wraith Lord, but there's a grenade and there's a washout. Trying to tough it out. Would have been a good spot for Angels of Death, I think. Double tax run. The Salt Squad runs. But the carry's still in play for now. But they were 2v1 there. The uh, Trogenic. They did really well considering. Oh, here's a last cannon. From uh, Eagle Red all the way over here. But these guys instantly get taken out. They're not paying attention. And they did get a Dreadnought look. Down to 50 VPs though, the Space Marines. Double cap against them. Eagle Red pushed all the way through. Bash the power. Was chasing something back there, I guess. Maybe the far the Farseer herself was chased. She's down. 40 to 392. 
Dreadnought staying in its default melee mode for now. To threaten that Seer Council, I suppose. There's tier 3 for Eatrogenic. Eatrogenic, by the way, refers to someone being harmed by being medically examined, I believe. Or a medical examination causing some kind of illness or something like that. Force Commander goes down. I've got the decap. The Salt Squad probably need to jump the Shuriken. There it is. Double Banshees are there, and there's Angels of Death. Can the double tax get onto the Fire Prism? Looks like they've spotted it. Banshees are there, though. But the carry needs to throw the heal out. Oh, maybe they've done so already. Must have done so already. Those Banshees dealt with. Doing a bit of an odd retreat. Need to try and split those tacks up. So they don't both get knocked over by the fire prism. Easier said than done, of course. Banshee's staying in this for a while. Knowing that they had that suppression support, maybe. From that shuriken and war shouting and things. What's going on the east side? It's an avatar. Oh, we have a assault cannon dreadnought. Okay. And they melt a gun tech marine. The Salt Squad going into melee, throwing their Melter Bomb. Now they need to run. Seer Council has disrupted them all. They may not get away here. Looks like they barely made it. Lots of single target DPS from the Dreadnought on those Seer Council. Should fight them in melee, I think. I think it's afraid of the Avatar coming in. There we go. Yeah, get some hits. 29373. What is this? That is some sneaky scout trying to get the VP. Fire Prism just knocks everything over. They got the decap. Well done, fellas. Now run. Double cap for the space for the Space Marines. But Eagle Red not paying attention to these scouts here. They're gonna wipe. And they had their sergeant and they had shotguns, I believe. But they've broken out of the east side. Tech Marine has fallen over. Force Commander's gonna go revive him. Avatar. They were going to try and chuck their melter, but they don't have the energy to do so. Autark drops in. Already loses half of her hit points. On the west side, it's blue for the Space Marines. The Atrogenic. Working wonders with just double tacks and Assault Squad. Doing a pretty good job, I think. There's Angels of Death again. They do not have the red for Terminators. They've been using Angels of Death a lot, I guess. Are they going to try and get a... Looks like they're saving for a Land Raider. Are they going to have time to get it? It's only 29 VPs on the counter here. Assault Terminators up for Fritz. And another missile launcher comes in. And there's that Power Fist. I think they're going to get... Yeah, Wraithlord is down. Wraithlord is down. Eatrogenic yeah, judging the engagement quite well there. Everything got away, I think. Not every model got away, but every unit got away. Fritz should be getting a Librarian to support these Terminators next. Land Raider Redeemer is on the way for Eotrogenic. Fire Prism makes it out. Thunderhammer Terminators cracking through those Banshees. I love that shield here animation there. There's wiped out that Banshee. Autark is here with a fusion gun. And here's, uh oh, here's a Farseer with Doom up and those are Seer Council and these guys, did they use their teleport already? Because they're not doing it. Something's coming in here. It's a drop pod from Fritz with more attacks in. Yeah, I guess they used their teleport offensively to get through the mid. Try and finish off the fire prison. That was almost a terrible mistake. Gotta be so careful using that teleport offensively if you don't have a librarian. How is this still red? Gotta cap that, fellas. Guess they're busy fighting, eh? Avatar coming through the mid. Autark is there. Buffing everything alongside the Avatar and the Seer Council. So many buffs for Reprobate. They're all giving massive area of effect buffs, those guys. 29 to 291. Two to one for Space Marines. Land Red Redeemer, I think, is going to make it onto the field. There's a time field from Armor of the Syrian. 
Terminator's in big trouble. Why are they still here? They're gonna wipe, are they? There's the teleport. Banshee's trying to trying to chase them. Warp Spider's teleporting after him. These tacks, these assault marines need to jump and save the Terminators. They're not doing it. Too late. Terminators didn't make it. I think if that assault squad did jump, they would have made it, I think. Why were those Terminators even back out here without reinforcing? Maybe they just thought they didn't have time to reinforce them. There's a Land Raider Redeemer. Blue team can now retreat back to this thing and reinforce, which is a big deal. But can it survive Eldritch Storms? There's one already. Big, big damage from the storm. And it shuts down the Land Raider. Not a huge amount of anti-vehicle here though. All tuck coming in. Fire Prism can get shot as well. Although Flesh Over Steel is on it. Fool's Corner trying to get on it. But gets knocked over by Rangers. Where's that frag assault? There's a time field. And another Eldritch. The Land Raider survives for now. 29. 265. Warthog still getting shots though. Assault squad. Oh, they don't go after her. We need to get that Warthog out of there. Now she's getting flamed and she does not like it flame weapons do extra damage in cover and she was standing in heavy cover there one to one cap the attacks are on the VP they still haven't taken this wreck point back how much wrecks how much wreck have they lost not having that now this thing needs repairs really badly tech marine comes in to do so also revive the apothecary level seven apothecary level four tech marine repairing are there any scouts oh eatrogenic did get some scouts up to help prepare. The E cannon's coming in. There's tier 3 for Eagle Red. Who has tons of red by the way. Zeal I believe. The Space Marines call it in this. Eldar call it Psychic Might. Banshees. Group teleported maybe. I think so. I don't see a webway over there. There's a Haywire on the Land Raider. Scouts already wiped. Land Raider may fall here. Assault squad jumping in. Is it enough to defend the Land Raider? Banshee's trying to get on it. Tech Marine trying to repair it. Should just be shooting the Banshees, I think. Okay, it survives. It has survived. 29 to 237. Doom up on these Vanguard veterans, and they're in a tough fight. An Avatar and a Seer Council there. 25 to 237. Another avatar on the way. The space marines are surely done for. There's another eldritch. It took three eldritches, but they got it down. Yeah, I think they're done for. There's a concession. Eotrogenic was down to this assault squad at the end, but they fought so valiantly on this west side. Level 5 tech marine for Eagle Red. Fritz with level 6 force commander. Level 7 apothecary. Level 4, Warp Spider Exarch, with an Avatar on the way at the end. Warlock had Merciless Witchblade and Cloak of Shadows, level 6. And a level 9 Farseer with that huge buff stack of the Seer Council Avatar or Tark combo. Awesome stuff. Some sloppy losses from the Space Marines, which cost them as the game went on. But they put up a fight, that's for sure. Thank you for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Big thanks to these players for playing a faction war for us. Not sure if this was pre-planned or just happened to fall into place but thanks to these guys and i'll see you next time